But coming up next, the stories you need to know before you head out the door. Also just ahead, the epicenter for generating ideas and tackling Hawaii's biggest issues. It's an event bringing together thinkers and developers from all over the world. And we've got a preview when Wake Up Today continues. Well, after an exciting competition phase, the new Building Voices Festival is coming up on Earth Day. That's this Saturday. It's quickly becoming an epicenter for generating ideas for Hawaii's biggest issues. The festival is also bringing together thinkers, developers, and designers from all around the world. Joining us now to talk more about it are Carla Sierralta, UH Architecture Professor, and Ben Griffin, Building Voices Honorable Mention winner. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you for Thank having you. us. So talk about this festival and why it's so important to us? Well, it's, an, it's a series of efforts that are being put together by the School of Architecture and the Community Design Center at UH Manuel. Mm -hmm. And we got together with the community and with the academics and with professionals uh, to figure out which were the pressing issues that we should be talking about. Mm -hmm. And so several issues came up, like housing, um, food, resources, energy, transportation, and health care. And we had this competition asking for innovative solutions. And so we received 111 entries, and we're very excited to show them at the state capitol this upcoming Saturday. Okay. And it's not just a concept anymore. I mean, there are solutions uh, that were thought of very brilliantly. Yes, we're here to announce the winner of the competition. Okay. Um, which is um, Aaron Moore, and we're going to see some pictures, I believe. Uh, this is uh, Aaron Moore, uh, Aaron Moore's outside house. It's a concept for dwelling minimally and putting the land first. It's a series of two pavilions. You're looking at the screen, one pavilion. Uh, it's outside, it has a kitchen that's outdoors and a shower that's outdoors. Um, and then another pavilion that is inside. Uh, it's, a, it's built in Maui. And again, it's a great example for minim creating minimum impact on the land. Mm -hmm. Everybody's talking about ADUs and accessory dwelling units, and we think this might be what is next, what is after. Wow. So first time announced this morning? This is the announcement. Well, congratulations, the winner, Aaron. <laughs> And it's, it's an outstanding idea. Yes, and it we're kind very of, It really helps with affordable housing space uh, kind of issue that we're having and here And how in do we live with minimum impact and minimum resources and being a little bit frugal and putting, the, again, the land and the environment first? Okay, and out of more than 100 entries, Ben, yes. you're an honorable mention winner. Yes, Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Carla, for putting this all together. Um, our project was Ala Hele Reimagined. And we dove into the idea of an Ale Hale, which was a typical trail that connected Mauka to Makai. And we wanted to um, reimagine this idea on how we can actually connect the communi community as well as um, make commuting easier for people. Wow. And uh, the Kalihi stream was like a perfect place for this because not only does the stream need revitalization, but do so does the surrounding areas. So in this image here, you can actually see that these existing warehouses, they can actually be used for the greater good of the community by making recreational areas or shops or retail stores or farmers markets. Um, and you can easily see that this is a low impact, um, sustainable design that can be easily put into other streams throughout the rest of the state. And for um, some of these projects and winners, what's the next step into making it come to life and bring it to fruition? Well, um, the winter design has already been built in Maui, and mm -hmm. some of the other ones are, are, are ideas. So yeah. we, we're hoping to just create conversation and maybe be agents for change and say that the, power, the design really matters and there's a lot of power in design. Uh, yeah. And speaking of conversation, the public can also join in this weekend as well, yes. right? Yes, it's open to everybody. We invite everybody to come. Uh, we have over 40 speakers from Hawaii, from mainland um, and from abroad coming in to talk about all these issues uh, on Saturday. There's also an exhibit, so you'll be able to see all of these great ideas and images uh, at the state capitol. Okay, so again, it's this Saturday, the Building Voices Festival at the state capitol from 8 to 5.30 p.m. That is correct. And Everybody. everyone's invited? Yes. That's awesome. Thank Please you so much. Us. And congratulations, Ben and Aaron. You. Hope you're watching. You just won, right? <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. All right, thank you.